Hi, we're having a conversation with Ed Perry. He's master teacher at the Acton MBA. And uh, Professor Perry, uh, how did you catch the passion for entrepreneurship? Two colleagues of mine worked together in a company. and We believed that we could do what the company was doing far better than this company was doing. Uh, we tried to push the company to go a different direction and the owners of the company refused. So we resigned from the company to create our own and that company turned out to be very successful. With it being successful then the three of us, all three of us had the bug and have continued to be entrepreneurial since. <laughs> and where has the bug led you? Oh, I've uh, created 14 companies so far. Uh, 13 of 14 have been very successful. Uh, it's given me the opportunity to also be a venture capitalist and to invest in helping others to create their companies. And then I also teach in the Acton School of Business in helping many others become entrepreneurial. And uh, 13 successful companies out of 14 is a high rate, which is not usual, isn't it? That is unusual. That means that I've been incredibly lucky. Uh, and the luck comes from two areas. The first is being in the right place at the right time. And the other is that I've always been very fortunate to surround myself with people who are much smarter than me, much more capable than me, much more experienced than me, who've been able to help me with building great companies. And uh, what, what is a successful entrepreneur? You know, a successful entrepreneur isn't necessarily about money. It isn't necessarily about fame or power. It's really about the impact that you make in the world. Most of the people who are very successful entrepreneurs saw a world need, something that the world really needed badly, and chose to dedicate a portion of their lives to fulfilling that need, and then were successful at that. So being successful on, as an entrepreneur is more about the impact that you have on the world than it is the impact you have on your pocketbook. And can you learn to be an entrepreneur? Of course. Yes, in the uh, Acton School of Business, we teach people how to be entrepreneurial. Uh, it's, there's a very clear process that's involved. And once you learn the process and you learn the right questions to ask, most people are very successful as entrepreneurs. And uh, you mentioned a process. Uh, can, can, you, can you tell us something about that process? Sure. Uh, at Acton, we teach you how to learn how to learn, how to learn how to make money, and to learn how to live a life of meaning. And the way we teach that is through a process that's called the Socratic teaching method. The Socratic method is about asking a set of questions to provoke a discussion where the students teach each other. It isn't about textbooks. It isn't about theory. It's about being very pragmatic, studying companies who have been successful and companies that have failed and learning from their experiences and then experimenting with what would you do if you were in the same situation. In a world which sometimes is somewhat uh, suspectful of entrepreneurs, what does living a life of meaning mean? Right, living a life of meaning is it has really twofold impact. The first is, do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like you're making a difference? Uh, do you feel like your life matters to someone or some group of people? And then the other side of it is for there to be an impact on the world and for the world to recognize what are the changes that you're making because of the life that you're living. That's a real life of meaning. And this entrepreneur that you're describing is very different from the one that we see in Hollywood, for example. <laughs> yes, Hollywood uh, loves to describe entrepreneurship as being uh, more about greed than about making a difference in the world. And there are some entrepreneurs who have been successful for a short period of time by chasing the money. But what we've found, if you look at history, those that have been great leaders, the ones that have been able to build co companies that last for very long periods of time always had money as a goal, but there was always some underlying goal that was more important. That was that fundamental structuring principle that was far greater than just money. There was always a vision to what they were crafting 
that had more to do with making a difference in the world. Finally, if a student, if a student comes to you and asks you, uh, Professor Perry, uh, should I study entrepreneurship? What would you recommend? I would ask them what was the kind of life that they wanted to lead. Were they happy in a nine to five job where someone else made the decisions, uh, where they were told what to do and they just behaved, uh, where they went home and uh, spent their time with their families but had no relevancy between their work and their family, then being entrepreneurial is not a good fit. If, on the other hand, they have that passion and fire in them to make a difference in the world, where they feel a strong com compulsion to make that difference regardless of what's the structure, that they're willing to go through the pain and suffering that's necessary to create that company that will fulfill that need, where they see that the purpose of being entrepreneurial is not just about the world need, but also about how do I make sure that my life matters? It matters to the group of people that I work with, and it matters to my family. Then I would strongly encourage them to look into being entrepreneurial. Well, Professor Perry, thank you very much for sharing these ideas with us, and thank you too.